All right, today we are streaming live from Springville High School. Is that where we are? Yeah, Springville High School. We're going to learn how to make some singing, singing pumpkins today, right in time for Halloween. First of all, everybody get online and find a picture of a pumpkin that you want to make singing. So I'm just going to type in pumpkin face and then find a picture that I want to use. I would recommend looking for something on the simple side. Uh, it, it especially gets tricky if you have a mouth that kind of curves up like that. Um, so yeah, somebody tried to do this one last time and because the mouth curves it made it kind of hard. Uh, I'm gonna go this guy something nice and easy like that this will be fun too because it's got eyeballs so we can make the eyeballs move around alright so I will right click on this save image as Tanner are you looking up pictures or what you gonna follow along okay good don't make me tell you again uh, hit save okay that downloaded now I'm going to click on this little arrow here, show in finder, oh, cancel that. Alright, so here is my picture and I'm going to right click on that, Oops. and I want open with Adobe Illustrator. So the reason we're using Illustrator for this is we need to convert this picture from Usually they're like JPEGs or PNGs or something like that. We need to convert it into a vector image, which means you can scale it to any size that you want and it'll maintain the same quality. All right, so here I am in Illustrator. I'm going to select the picture, so we've got that border around it. And up here at the top, there's a few buttons here. We're looking for this one called Image Trace. I'm not going to click the button, but I will click the arrow here and choose black and white logo. So you can't tell any difference because it was already pretty much just black and white. But now, now that I've done that, I can click expand here. And now it has converted it into a vector graphic. So now I want to choose if yeah, I want to go over here, choose my direct selection tool, that's the white arrow. And see how when I hover over this, it uh, shows what is selectable. So I want to select this white square around it and just delete that. So now we've got the eyes and the nose and the mouth and they're each their own graphic and that's all we need. So I'll go File, Save As, Pumpkin face, I already have a few of these, so we'll call it pumpkin face six, I think. And under format, I'm going to change that to SVG, scalable vector graphic. So that this is a pretty standard format that Blender will be able to handle just fine. Um, Eduardo, what are you looking at over there? Pumpkin face? I want, I want you to close down all that 666 crap. It's my religion. <laughs> all right. So we've saved that as an SVG. <laughs> now, where is Blender? Let's open up Blender. Okay. Now, we've got our regular startup file. I'm just going to delete the cube and then I'll go here to file import scalable vector graphic SVG and let's find where I saved that thing singing pumpkin pumpkin phase 6 so I'm gonna click import and it doesn't look like it did, did anything at first, but if I go into my top view, 
And then if I scale in really far, I gotta scale in like as far as it goes. And there's a teeny little face there. I'm gonna hit B for box select and select the whole face. And right now each each part of the face is a separate object, so I want to join them. So I click this join button. Doink. Now it's all one thing. Now I need to scale this bigger, so I'm gonna hit S and scale it and then keep zooming out and scaling it more. It's still super tiny. Uh, now I probably made it too big. There we go. Something like that. Um, also, my origin here is way off. See that dot and how when I hit scale, it scales according to where that origin is in the middle. So I want to set the origin to be in the middle of the face instead of way off to the corner. So with it selected, I'm going to click this button here, set origin, origin to geometry. That'll put it right in the middle of the face. Now I can grab that. Oh, let's go to top view. Grab that, put it in the middle of the grid, and now when I hit scale, it works right. Okay, now that we've got the face about the right size, we want to add a plane. So I'm going to hit Shift A, add a plane, and let's scale that so it's, I'm just going to fill this whole grid with the plane. It basically covers up the face for now. Uh, I want to rotate this 90 degrees. R on the x-axis. So I hit R and then I hit X and then I type in 90 and hit enter. And I want to do the same with the face. So I select that, hit R for rotate, x-axis, type in 90, hit enter. And then I'm going to drag the face so it's forward just a little bit. So now I rotate around, see so yeah, how the face is right in front of this plane. Okay, now from the front view, I hit 1 to go to front view. My face is selected. I'm going to hit shift and select the plane behind it. And then let's go, oh, I need to go into edit mode. So now I'm in edit mode on the plane. Um, I want to subdivide this a few times. Let's put in 20. Something like that. We've got a little grid. And then I drag this down here. I'm looking for this button called Knife Project. So before we used the knife tool and we'd use that to kind of carve around in here. But now since I have this picture of the smiley face, if I click Knife Project, it is going to cut out the outline of that picture that we had selected. And if I turn this around I can see that it's done that. Um, let's switch this to face select mode. So I have all these faces selected that were just um, knife projected and I can hit X to delete those, delete faces. There we go. I can go back into object mode and I can select this face and X, delete that. And there it is, carved out in our plane. All right, you guys ready to keep going on this? Heck yes. I can't hear you. Heck yes. Are you ready? No. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Uh, now, what we need to do is create kind of the inside of the pumpkin. So it will look like, you know, this is carved and there's something else inside of it. So let's go down here to add and mesh UV sphere. And it should put it right in the middle. Hopefully our plane is still right in the middle too. And I'm gonna scale this so it's bigger than the face. And if I rotate around, it should be cutting it right in half. 
like that. So I go to my side view. Oh, mine's too big. <laughs> Uh, let's go into wireframe mode so I can see through it like that. So, uh, Z is the shortcut for wireframe mode. Okay, now what I want to do with the sphere is cut it in half so that only the back half exists because I still want to be able to see this face. So let's uh, go into edit mode. So hit tab, go into edit mode. And then let's go into our side view. So I hit three, side view. And now I want to select, I'm just gonna hit B to box select. And I'm gonna select everything that is in front of the plane. So see that line, that's, that's our plane. I'm selecting everything in front of it. And then I hit X, delete faces. And then there's gonna be a couple of these towards the top that were too small for me to select at first. So maybe I'll go to top view and then just, oh, I want to be in orthographic mode too. So now I can select these ones and delete those. There we go. Now it is just that back half of the sphere. So once you've got all that deleted, go back into object mode. And just to make sure that none of the uh, edges of that sphere overlap with your plane. I'm just going to slide it back just a touch so they're not actually touching. So you've got just a little bit of space between your plane and the back half of that sphere. Okay. Now, uh, let's, uh, let's add some colors to this. So first of all, select your plane with the face on it. And let's go over here to your colors. And we want to be in Cycles Render, if you haven't yet. So click up here in Blender Render, change that to Cycles. And let's make a color. And we want this to be black, black, black. So I'm going to just select the color, drag it all the way down. And just to make sure we don't want this to be diffuse. We want, I'm going to change it from diffuse and change it to emission. So that means it's going to emit darkness and nothing will reflect off of it ever. It's like a black hole. Okay, so that's the color of the, the plane with the face carved into it. Now I'm going to select this half of the sphere and this is going to be the color of the inside of our pumpkin. So here I'll hit new and you probably want some kind of an orange thing here. Uh, I'm colorblind so I don't know where orange is. I'm gonna guess right here. Nope. Is that it? No, it's green. Listen Bob, <laughs> I'm the teacher here. I know what's right. I'm saying this is orange. And also here I want this to be emission instead of diffuse so that means it's going to emit this orange light. Uh, what, what's so funny? It's not orange, it's green. I, I don't trust you for a second. <laughs> okay, now if we go to our, let's just check it out real quick. I'll go to rendered view. Hey, that's looking great. You're telling me this is green? Yes. Oh, yeah, it is. Once it gets bigger, I can tell. All right. Uh, closer. Perfect. Okay. That looks like a pumpkin. Does it really? All right. I'll pause here. All right. Could you guys settle down for a second while while we're rec recording this? <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, we need to make some some shapes now. So this is going to be our, our default shape. Uh, over here on the right, we, we've used this materials tab a lot. Just to the left of that, see this one that's like a triangle with three points? Select that. Oh, and let's go back. We don't need to be in our rendered view. Let's go to uh, 
which one do we want? Probably wireframe. Yeah. Wireframe. And make sure that your face is selected. Not the not the sphere. So select the face and be in wireframe mode. Okay, and this thing is called plane, I guess. Scroll down until you see this box that says shape keys. So shape keys lets you um, set different poses. So in this case, we're going to do different face shapes. Uh, and then you can animate in between those, those poses. So I'm going to hit the plus sign three, four times, I think. One, two, three, four. So the first time you hit it, it says basis. And then you've got key one, key two, key three. Basis we're going to leave. That's just your, your default one. Uh, but each of these, I'm going to double click on key one and rename it. And I'm going to name this mmm. So that's when your mouth is going to be closed, making the mmm sound. Key two, I'll double click on this and name that ah. So this will be when the mouth opens even wider. And then key three, ooh. Guess we don't need the H's in there. Otherwise, that would be oh, ooh. All right, so we have basis. Mm, ah, and ooh. Okay, so let's start with the mmm. Once we've renamed them, click on the mmm, and we're going to change the face for how this, uh, how we want it to look when its mouth is closed. Uh, Tanner, good luck on this one, all right? You, you got ambitious and chose a, a, a really detailed mouth. The rest of you, I think, will have an easier job of this. Uh, okay, with the face selected, we're going into edit mode. And we want to be in vertex select. So over here, like that. Okay, uh, so now what I need to do is select all of the vertices around Uh, around the mouth and drag them down so that they will be I want to be in straight front view so I'm gonna hit one to be in front view uh, you know it's probably I'm gonna go back into object mode and I'm going to hide hide the uh, sphere while I'm doing this just so it doesn't get in the way so I selected I hit H to hide and now I'll go back to the face and go into edit mode that's better. Before I was seeing like all the grid of the, the sphere behind it. Okay, so I need to make this mouth closed. So first I will, and I've got a ton of vertices in here, probably the easiest thing is to hit C for the cursor select and just select all of these vertices. Oops. Um, and now I need, I can't see all of them so I have to right click slide that over, hit C again. So I'm just selecting all the ones on the top. And see here, I've got an extra one. I don't want that selected. Oh, dang it. There. <laughs> Shift select and it'll deselect that one. Okay, so I've got all of the, the vertices on the top selected. Now I'm going to hit, uh, I can either hit G or I can just grab this blue arrow Make sure you're still in front view, otherwise this will get really messed up. Uh, and I'm just going to drag these down. I'm going to drag them all the way down so that they are below the, the bottom of his mouth. And now I'll deselect those and do the opposite, and I'm going to select the bottom of the mouth. So I'll just hit the, the cursor select and choose all these. like that and then I can hit G and grab those and I'm gonna move those up on the z-axis like that and it's kinda of hard to tell what you're doing while you're in uh, wireframe mode like this but if now if I hit tab to go into object mode 
See how it's back to normal? Regular smiley face. And I have this mm selected, right? And just below that, it has a value of zero. But if I click on this little bar and slide it, then see how the mouth goes in between from one point to another? Pretty sweet. Uh, and since it's still in wireframe mode, it looks like it's just like uh, inverting on itself or something. But really, uh, let's see if we go to rendered view. You, you don't need to do this. I'm just showing you what it's going to look like. There, in rendered view, now his mouth is closing. Okay, so let's go back to wireframe, go back into edit mode. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the ah. So once I click on ah, it's going to go back to its default position. Uh, so in this case, I want to drag the bottom. I still have all these selected, it looks like. So I'm going to select all of the bottom of its mouth and drag it down so it's open even wider. And in this case, I've got a few vertices that weren't selected before because they started out below the mouth. And I want to, now I'm just going to select those ones and drag them down too. And now I'll select all the top ones and drag them up a little bit. And now they're overlapping these ones. So let's drag those up. And if you want to change the shape of the mouth too, I mean, right now it's just basically getting taller. So I could like select some of the corners and bring those in just to give it a little bit more of an ah shape. So feel free to do whatever you want to make this look like he's saying ah. And then I can go into object mode and test it out. Ah, uh, hey, that looks good. And then ooh is the trickiest one because that one you have to actually change the, the sides of the mouth a little bit more. So let's go back into edit mode. Notice I can't, I can't change anything with this while I'm in object mode. So go into edit mode, select ooh. It's back at its default position. And for the ooh, I like to start in the middle of the mouth. So I'm just going to select these two middle vertices. Uh, I guess four middle vertices in my case. I'm going to drag those up to where it would be the top of the mouth in the ooh shape. And then I'm just going to go work my way over from the side. Drag those up. And once we get over here, we want to start moving them in. So it makes like a rounded ooh shape. So this is where uh, this is where it's going to be hard for Tanner. Is that huge grin? So see, I'm just grabbing all these vertices and bringing them in closer. Uh, maybe I'll start here in the middle too and drag those down. So this is the part where I'm just going to keep doing this, and then I will fast forward it on the tutorial. All right, there's our ooh shape. That is looking great. Uh, let's go into object mode. Let's test out ooh. Oh, wow. I love it. Okay, I'm going to stop this.